next phase of my changes here I just did a two inch seat lift on this thing which worked perfectly little aluminum block in my case I went with the two incher one right here and the other ones right here on this side and same thing on the other side of the seat okay and you can see if I can get it here there is a pretty good difference in seat height okay reason I went this way rather than go over the uh, four inch extension slider is this way it works fine for me but my wife I'm 5'11 and relatively long legs and my wife is only five foot four and short legs so if I moved it's four inches backwards there's no way she could have hit the found the pedals and we bought this more for her than me so I'm gonna show you on the passenger side seat what I did taking them out that was easy trying to get all the bolts and everything to line up to re torque this down that was a bear and hopefully it won't be quite so bad now that I know what to do signing off right now all right, first thing here, there are three bolts that are in front here, two, one there, one there. Those are 13 millimeter. And then coming up here, bring it forward. You have one here, another 13 millimeter right there. And then on the other side, this is a T50 Torx that has to come out. And those are the four bolts you have to remove. Now, as I said, when I did the driver's side, this was a bear because the seat's heavy and I was working alone. But I'll let you see what I'm doing here now. Give me a minute or two to get the thing set up again. Hopefully I've got this angled about right. So, first one. That's a 5 eighths. That's going to be used. That's a 5 eighths. That's going to be used on the new, the larger bolt. T50 Torx. I'm using a wobble head uh, extension on this thing. Oh boy, that sucker, that other seat. All right, that tells me something. This thing hasn't been messed with. So. Nope. All right, putting it on pause. I'm gonna have to get a breaker bar. Hang on, guys. Okay, start recording again. This is a 3 8 inch breaker bar. That should give me enough torque to break this loose. Yep. That's all it took. Thirteen millimeter socket for this other one. That one wasn't anywhere near as tight as that other one.
Okay. Got to work on the front to 13 millimeters. you'll be able to see it but hello I hope that works now on this one stand with that short thing but I found that short wobble head extension that's the way to go Let's go to the intermediate. That one's a little too short. There we go. a little bit of interference going on here with the frame itself of the seat. There she goes. Finally broke loose. Okay, I'm going to go to this long bar on this last one, I think. It'll give me a little better angle of approach. Yeah. Yep, that was dumb. Okay, now, let that fall back for now. Okay, oh, what we've got here, so we got three two inch tall with smaller holes and then one with a bigger hole. The one with a bigger hole, that uses a 16 millimeter if you got one, or I found out that a 5 eighths works perfect on that. And that's that bolt that was originally the uh, T50 Torx drive. So that's the one that'll go over into the, as you're sitting in the seat, it'll be the left rear corner. The other three are the 13 millimeters. One thing I'm going to do here is turn this off for a second, is the washes that came with the 13 millimeters, those are way, way, way too small. They'll pull right out of the railing here. So I bought some backup washers that I'm going to put in. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm going to do the front two blocks first, get it started, because as I said, getting this mother to line up is a bear, to put it mildly. I must have over center and everything else.
That's the paint in there. It is a royal, royal paint. Things all hang up, don't want to. They don't want to freaking move. The trick is getting one started, if you can get that started then. Oh, that was my finger. Okay, I'm going to turn this off because I'm going to let go with some real choice words here. This is where it's hard to get this thing started. Okay, after about 10 minutes or so of fighting with the front two to get them to line up, once I got those lined up, everything else went together fairly well. Went to a, going to a longer ratchet here, a little better leverage. Overdo these, but I also don't want to underdo it either. Go to the five. This is a five eighths here for this one bolt in this corner. It is. bigger than the other three and I have a hypothesis as to why. It's in back to anchor that seat in the frontal impact but it's also to the inside in the event of a side impact you won't eject. That's the only thing I can think of why that one particular bolt is so much bigger or heavier duty than the others. All right, back's done. And I just screwed up. Thirteen millimeter. Pull this off real quick. Go over here. Get those two exposed. Should be able to see what I'm doing here. Hopefully well enough. I don't get help doing my videos. I do them all on my own. But one thing I want to do I have to get this tightened down a little more. Like 
those two in. Don't want them too tight yet because I want to make the lift, lifter blocks look pretty. Bolts are so damn thin, I'm scared I'm gonna snap them. Okay. Go to the short guy. Larry about over torquing these things. Okay. That's where we're at. He's in there solid. Everything works. I'll check and make sure that I didn't pull any wires. But that's got the seats two inches higher. And as I said, I'm not a small dude. And I'm not going to be PC. Bottom line is, I'm a fat man. And those other people, I don't really give a rat's ass. I'm saying about myself. So, bottom line, using. Okay. These wild boar grab bars I got off of Amazon, along with. The two inch lift makes it a lot easier getting in and out of this Jeep. And the beauty of the two inch lift also is to give you a rough idea. Okay, this is what I, my position, two inches high, I can see almost the entire hood. Okay, before the two inch lift, this is what my wife was seeing. Okay, she couldn't even, had no clue where the hood was. Okay, now that she's two inches higher, she can see that much of the hood. Makes a big difference. So if you've got a family where you got one short person, one tall person, that four inch setback uh, that they sell may not be the answer because a short person may not be able to pull the seat far enough forward. This way, these lift blocks are available in inch, I believe it's inch and a quarter, inch and a half and two inch. I went with two inch and it worked out beautifully. You know, if you're not quite as tall or quite as big as I am, you know, you can go with an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. But it makes a major, major difference in how easy it is to get in and out of this uh, Wrangler X2 door. And that's where I'm at. If you watch this, I appreciate your time. And thank you very much for your time. I'm signing off. Okay, a little quick 30 second thing here. While I was doing the seat lift on this Jeep, I accidentally knocked something off the side panel here. This is a true speed, that's a true speed speed control, uh, speedometer controller. When I was driving this Jeep uh, yesterday and after I got it, the darn uh, 
speedometer was showing me going uh, about four to six miles an hour faster, uh, four miles an hour faster when I had the 385 70 R17s on here, and about six miles an hour faster when I switched down to these 265 70 R17s. Found this thing in here, and then I started researching it. This is a truly, uh, excuse me. Super lift our similar speed controller our of controller for the uh, speedometer it was this little switch here was in that position and as I said it showed me going five miles an hour roughly faster than I actually was going did a little research found out I flipped this over the other way that way and now I am within one mile an hour even with these big tires so I didn't know this thing was on here. I don't think the dealership knew it was on there. The only reason we found it is I accidentally bumped it with my foot when I was in and out of the truck here. So now I've got a very accurate speedometer. Thank you for your time.